You all are familiar with this Arabic word, jihad. September 11 was a jihad, correct? Or when a guy is uh, screaming and shouting, Allahu Akbar, while blowing himself up, or running into the crowd with a knife to behead you, it's jihad, correct? However, if you ask a Muslim to explain the meaning of jihad, or to tell you what jihad is, you get a very complex, confusing description and explanation. For example, some of the popular ones. Um, jihad is only a defensive war, or, well, only a caliph, the highest level of Islamic society leader, can call on a jihad. Um, or, better yet, these crazy guys committing terrorism against non-Muslims have nothing to do with Islam, or they misunderstood Islam. Or my very favorite, jihad is an internal struggle. You know, I got to get to the gym every day. I got to keep my body in a good shape every day. I have to be healthy every day. I have to be on my best behavior around other people every day. This is a jihad. None of these excuses, none of these confusing explanations ever actually explain why these crazy guys commit terrorism and kill innocent people while shouting, Allah is the greatest. But well, I will explain it for you today. I will explain the excuses and I will explain how jihad, the word jihad, has been repeated 108 times in Quran, which is words of Allah, with description of killing non-Muslims, committing jihad against us, the non-Muslims, to conquer us. I will explain how Allah has mentioned in the Quran that as a Muslim, it is your duty to kill non-Muslims. 14 centuries of Islamic history has proven that Islam conquers through jihad, not the fancy jihad description you hear from Islamic societies or Islamic centers or Muslim leaders, but the true meaning of Islamic jihad. Let me start from here. Where does the word jihad come from? It comes from jihad, Arabic word. The root of the jihad word is jihad which means a struggle and war within every Islamic teaching. This is starting from Quran, going to Hadith, going to Sunnah, going to Sira or Sunnah, um, Reliance of the Traveler, wherever you look, there is not a single mention of jihad in internal struggle Nowhere did Allah or Muhammad say, commit jihad against yourself, meaning keep yourself under control. I would like to put a call to action out right here. Anyone, please, dear Islamic leaders, dear Muslims, please send me an email with your actual evidence, proof within the Quran that refers to jihad, the word jihad, as you as a Muslim are required to commit jihad in ways of staying healthy, having good behavior, or any of that. And I'll be more than happy to adjust my explanation of jihad. Until such time, let me give you my proof that jihad under Islam has one meaning and one meaning only. And that is to attack, terrorize, kill or convert non-Muslims until every breeding human is a Mohammedan slash Muslim. Are you ready? Let's start by Quran, where I always go to. The word jihad in different forms has been mentioned in Quran about 108 eight times. And every single time it has been mentioned as the following meaning. Kill non-Muslims by committing jihad. Conquer non-Muslim lands by committing jihad. Please Allah by committing jihad. Give 
in cause of Allah by committing jihad. These are the only times, these are the only meanings behind every time jihad has been mentioned in Quran, which I said is 108 times. Now, um, uh, obviously we don't have time to go over 108 chapters of Quran right now, but let's go over a few of my favorites, which are simple, no way to twist it, no way to misunderstand it, no way to translate it wrongly. I would like to start by chapter 49 of Quran, verse 15. The believers, the Muslims, are those who believe in Allah and Muhammad and never doubt Islam, Muhammad, or Allah, and they strive. Now here it has used strive as the translation, but the actual word Arabic within this verse is being committing jihad. Those who commit jihad with their properties, their money, their wealth, and their lives in the cause of Allah. What is the cause of Allah? Cause of Allah is globalism of Islam. When everybody's a Muslim, that's the cause of Allah. Simple, as I said, simple. Simply explains who Muslims are. Nowhere in this sentence does it say Muslim are those in good body shape or those who verbally say the good thing or those who catch eight hours of sleep for, you know, beauty rest. No, it doesn't. It flat out says, believe in Allah and Muhammad, don't question them and go either spend your money in cause of jihad, in, in way of jihad or your life. To me, that's pretty simple to the point. Now let's do another one. Shall we? To just make sure why Allah really, really cares for jihad. Let's go to chapter 4, verse 95. That is chapter 4, and Nasa, the woman, verse 95. It does say, not equal are those believers remaining at home other than the disabled and the mujahideen Mujahideen coming from jihad. Mujahideen are those people who commit jihad in the cause of Allah with their wealth and their lives. Again, translation, those who stay home, the Muslims who stay home are not equal to Mujahideen. Muslims who stay home are not the same in eyes of Allah as Mujahideen. Now, how did it describe the Mujahideen again? Those who strive and fight in the cause of Allah with their wealth and their life. Financial jihad, war jihad. I have covered this before. So you become the favor to Allah as a Muslim if you are committing jihad using your money, wealth, property, or life, right? Again, just two verses, just two verses, that's all. Again, Quran is a pretty big book, remember? Only two verses. And I think anyone with a bit of a logic, open mind and open heart can easily see that jihad has everything to do with what we see terrorizing non-Muslims. Because again, as I explained, Cause of Allah. What is cause of Allah? Cause of Allah is when you kill or convert non-Muslims so everybody is a Muslim. That's cause of Allah. You use your wealth and your life. Now, who are using their life? As I said, shout Allah Akbar, blow up yourself, take a couple of infidels with you, and you have successfully committed jihad and became a favorite to Allah based on chapter 4, verse 95. 